Well, I think pastors face a number of different challenges, but when pastors and leaders kind of fall, as we, we might describe it, often it's, it's moral, uh, mental or spiritual. Very often they all have the same kind of causal basis. Sometimes people make moral decisions to deliberately out themselves from ministry. Some people have a full-blown emotional breakdown, which is a surprise to them. And some people just feel so um, despairing and despondent and depressed that they kind of feel that their relationship with God is no longer real. Behind all of those three outworkings is often a deeper kind of breakdown. And, and I think the one thing that's often behind that is this overbearing sense of responsibility that never really goes away. So this is the whole front stage, backstage living. Ma many people in leadership are living life in the front stage. Imagine that they are on stage all the time. Now, being on stage means that they are facing all of the projections of the people that they're working for, who often idealise them thinking that they're better than they actually are. Uh, their backroom material, how they feel about themselves, becomes more separate from their front stage material, how people feel about them. And as a result, that sort of disparity, what they feel about themselves and what they believe other people feel about them, makes them feel very internally divided. And over time, that creates a huge amount of stress. It's just not possible to be on stage all the time and be something that you aren't. Your identity can't be built on anything outside of yourself. It can only be built on inside of who you actually are. That's why coming back to the fact that you're a child of God is so life-giving and so positive in Christian ministry. If we begin to lose sight of our identity as children of God, then we begin to believe that we are something else for the people. And as a result, that's when our emotional wells start to crumble. And most leaders who have had, you know, have made different steps, negative, knowing and unknowing, have acknowledged that actually they couldn't live that long under that much pressure and that they had to kind of break out or get out. I think the key thing here is accountability, uh, honest conversations and also vulnerability. When, when, we, when as leaders and just as people we, we believe that we're truly known just as we are and accepted as we are, we actually live in a relatively stress-free zone. But when we are projecting that we're better than we really are, we have to live up to those expectations. That's where stress really begins to take hold.